After several departures this offseason, the New York Rangers looked like a very different team. One of the larger holes left wide open was on the second line. Ryan Strom was the former second line centerman of the Rangers, and the 29 year old was a polarizing player but ultimately exceeded expectations and fulfilled his role with the team for the past four seasons. Yet, it is undeniable that they will have to compensate for his absence and the immense loss of depth down the roster as well. In order to do so, the Blue Shirts brought in Vincent Trocek from the Carolina Hurricanes during the free agency period. Presumably, he will slide into Strom's spot, and fellow center Mika Zibanejad will retain his position on the first line. They also lost the services of Andrew Kopp, who could have competed for a center position as well. While the front office worked under the cap to form the new lines, the top two centers will need to be the production leaders of this young team for the beginning of the 2022-23 season. Of course, with the pressure to stay competitive in the very tough metropolitan division, the Rangers' lines will need to come out of the gate hot. This team has some very big shoes to fill, which is pretty much their own. They fought all the way to the Eastern Conference Final and put somewhat of a fight against the reigning Stanley Cup champion of the Tampa Bay Lightning. It would not be fair to place all the pressure on the newcomer's shoulders, which is why Zibanejad will need to have another career season. Extra eyes will be on the team since they have proved that they are more than a squad being carried by a Vesna winning goaltender in Igor Shosturkin. Whether or not they can reach the same height of success as last season is uncertain, but the team certainly has the right tools to do so, especially within the top six. Filling Strom's position was necessary, but giving the job to the right player is just as imperative. The team communicated such when they signed Trocek to a seven-year contract worth $39.375 million. Already accustomed to the second line role, he will split the heightened responsibility with Zibanejad this upcoming season. And the Rangers, they cannot really afford to waste time working to rebuild a chemistry that was pretty much lost when several players could not stay under contract. The job of Strom's replacement is essentially twofold, surpass his production and replicate the chemistry with winger Artemi Panarin, as the duo's magic was one of the stronger themes of this young team in the past several seasons. Of course, Panarin is dynamic enough to elevate his lineman's performance, but he can benefit from the same as well. Last season with the Hurricanes, Trocek racked up 21 goals and 30 assists for a total of 51 points in a full 82-game campaign, as the Hurricanes finished the 2021-22 season first in the Metro and third overall in the league. During the postseason, he netted six goals and assisted on four others in the span of 14 playoff games. On the Hurricanes, he was the fourth highest point producer and recorded three game-winning goals during the regular season. His point total of 51 would have ranked him the 6th highest point getter on the 2021-22 Rangers, ironically just below Strom, who finished with 54 points in 74 games. Trocek was one of the more skillful names in the market this summer. Fortunately for the Rangers, he saw a match in New York as extremely favorable. Since the Blue Shirts did not have the easiest cap situation to work with, his preferences to come to New York made contract talks very easy, and while the front office had to keep an eye on the budget, this was all under control. Over the span of his career as a member of the Hurricanes and the Florida Panthers, a team that drafted him, the Pittsburgh area native registered 150 goals and 228 assists for a total of 370 points in 555 regular season games. In comparison, Strom picked up 130 goals and 227 apples in his 621 career games played, equating to a total of 357 points. Indeed, Trocher brings several intangibles as well. First of all, this is a reunion for him and Coach Gerard Kerlan. He's one of my favorite coaches that I've ever had, said the forward. The fit between the team and the player arrives at a perfect time as Gallant gained more playoff experience after the Rangers run as well. Trocek will need to provide a noticeable push not only to make the playoffs but to help keep the team's postseason streak alive. Secondly, the Rangers added to their grit with this signing. Though on the smaller side, Trocek brings an irritating edge to his game, a quality not well developed in Strom's repertoire. The team lost a lot of speed and toughness amongst their departures, but the new center will provide a bite the Rangers did not have in the past season. Trocek is also known for his forechecking, which is a work in progress area for the young club. Just as Zibanejad is known for his defensive efforts, Trocek will be able to bring in a similar two-way style to the second line, which will improve the team's overall defense. On paper, the list of upside seems to go on and on. And of course, the real test will come when the puck drops in the 2022-23 season in October. Due to linemate Chris Kreider's stolen spotlight thanks to his 52-goal performance, Zibanejad quietly came off his best career season yet. The 29-year-old enjoyed top minutes as a top-line center, where he also earned a leadership role as he tallied 29 goals and 52 assists for a total of 81 points in 81 games. The point-per-game rate allowed Zibanejad to rank second overall for the Rangers in point production. He was also third in assists and collected the second most amount of goals. He also led the team with shorthanded assists, which was four, and his role in the power play was critical to getting production with the man advantage. Despite a successful season, it appears that the numbers can even go higher for the Swede. A few seasons prior, a bout of COVID in a shortened season prevented Zibanejad from hitting his full stride. 
In the subsequent seasons, another level of his game was uncovered, which made him a massive asset to the club. Certainly, the Kreider Zibanejad dynamic helped both reach personal records, the same can hopefully be the case in the second line. Even though Panarin had led the team with 96 points, there is an untapped level he could reach with Trocek as a center. In retrospect, the team was only a few upgrades away from a different outcome against the Lightning, and the Trocek addition step should be in the and the Trocek addition should be a step in the right direction. The real question is, how much will he propel the team forward? As mentioned, the Rangers lost more than just Strom, they also lost Vitrano, Mott, and Kopp. As previously mentioned, the Rangers lost more than just Ryan Strom. They also lost depth and therefore some ability to shuffle lines using experienced players. While the fate of the team cannot rely on the top two centers, this does not lessen the importance of both having productive seasons. Naturally, the young team will look to the veteran players once again, as both Trocek and Zibanejad bring experience and guidance. Though the team was one of the three left standing this postseason, the young players have much to learn and having both at the forefront will hopefully set the team up for many more years of success. Thank you guys for tuning in, and have a wonderful day.